Belgian waffle, Belgian beer. Looks good, doesn't it? Join us as we travel through Belgium. Let's go. An experience of romance for the senses. Brussels is such a romantic city. There's cobblestone streets everywhere. We keep stopping in at chocolate factories, which I really don't mind. When you're in Belgium, nothing says romance like sharing a sweet with your sweet, which is why we're heading to Laurent Jarbeau Chocolat. Let's go. Here we are in Wuhan Park, uh, in front of the Royal Palace. They have the trimmed hop vines, which are probably going into all this delicious beer we're about to drink. Babe, do you smell that? It smells like love. <laughs> no, honey. It's waffles. The sweet smells of waffles permeate the streets of Brussels everywhere you go. We couldn't hold out any longer, so now it's time to check out Maison Dandoy. Here we go. First bite of a waffle in Belgium. Mm. That is good. That is really good. They know how to make their waffles. You can't visit Brussels without some mussels. Here we are at Chez Leon, and I'm about to try my first mussel from Brussels. The garlic and cream sauce, something you gotta get. So everyone thinks that Belgium is known for their beers, and they are. But when we sat down at Chez Leon, we learned all about Belgian wine. And now we're indulging in some Belgian wine to pair with our pommes frites and escargot and mussels from Brussels. Welcome to Wallonia. Today we are touring the city of Namur and we're on top of the citadel, which is an ancient structure that was built over 2,000 years ago before Belgium was even Belgium. Of course, we worked up an appetite biking, so it was time to refuel at La Maison des Desserts. And then we washed it down with some Belgian beer. With so many good beers, it's hard to choose. Why not try all of them? And at 9%, it's gonna to be tough to bike home after this. Our final stop was at the beautiful gardens of Annevoix. was by far the most secluded and romantic stop on our tour of Belgium. 